Yo, what is going on YouTube? Chico Bob here and I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be doing a Spurs rebuild. Uh, obviously, the Spurs haven't been doing too hot lately. They're 26 and 36. Uh, they're not, I don't think they're going to make the playoffs, but they're real close. Five games behind the eighth seed and the Greg Popovich's streak is going to end real soon if they don't turn that around. But, you know, there's still a lot of work with. We got a lot of young guys on this team. So in the first year, I'm going to try to develop the young guys. And then the third year, and then and make the playoffs. And the third year, I'm gonna, or the second year, I guess you could theoretically say I'm gonna get the playoffs and the championship, hopefully. But my plan right now is to, you know, keep all these guys, but then trade Lamarcus in the off season because I feel like he's gonna go down and overall he's getting pretty old, and I feel like we can get a decent player for him. So right now, I wanna send Luca to the G League because he will develop pretty well down there, and it should help us out. So, I don't think we're going to make the 8th seed anyways, but if we do, I'll stop and show you guys the playoff bracket. But if not, I'll simulate to the beginning of the next season. Not the next season, but, you know, before we get to the draft and whatnot. So, let's go through this, and I'll see you guys soon. Alright, guys, we finished with a record of 35-47. and 47. Expected, but unexpected. I thought that would have pushed a little bit harder, but, you know, it's what it is. Uh, let's go through these, make sure everything is uh, rejected, and let's go to the draft lottery. I think we should have a decent pick. Uh, we could use it or we could trade up. We have a 1.5% chance of moving up. So let's see what we land on. We land on the 12th pick, which isn't too terrible. You know, there's a lot of things we can work with there. Oh, Greg Popovich. We should bring him back. You know, I thought he was going to retire. But, you know, if we can bring him back, I'd like to get him another championship. Or even make the playoffs this season and get him a championship the next season. So, I'll offer him as much as I can because he deserves it. You know, he led this team multiple times uh, and, you know, he doesn't get as much credit. I mean, he does get enough credit, but, like, he doesn't get enough credit as he should. So, let's, let's keep offering him the max, I guess, you know, because we need to bring him in. I can't make this go faster, which kind of sucks. Let's give him $9 million. There's no way he—yeah, he should sign with us since he wants to come back. And then let's get in a good coach or Otis Newman for the backup. And I like that. And then— Let's see, decent, you know, GM. Let's just get Eric Brown. I don't even know if that's good or not. But let's go to the draft. Hopefully, we can move up. Or we can trade for a decent player in this draft. Maybe we'll get uh, a good draft pick, like, player, I mean, from that draft. So, uh, no one wants to offer us any trades. Who's available? Theo, RJ Hampton. I want to... All right, 2K crashed. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back at picking our player. Um, not 2K crashed, so some of the guys, like, changed up, which kind of sucks. Tyrese Hallibert, or Halliburton, uh, he goes to Iowa State, came from Iowa State, you know. If my man's, was it, it's, he's not bad. I, I'm going to pick him up just because, you know, he's from Iowa State. That's where I went to college or I'm going to college. So not a bad player. I'm going to. Simulate to the end of the regular, I mean, the end of the pick, you know, draft, whatnot. I'm surprised he was in here. Uh, we could have gone with LaMelo. I really would have liked him on my team. Uh, and so let's see his overall 90, 80, 76, not bad. You know, definitely could have been better. But let's get him on the team. Let's go to the player option. You know, DeMar declined, but we need to sign him back. I feel like, well, we don't need to, but I feel like for this team, he would be a good fit still. So let's get DeMar back on the team for about 168. Let's give him both of these. And he should be signing with us. Yes, he does. And let's get him on the team. How much do we have to work with? Mm, not a lot of money. So let's see if we can work with our free agent offers. Uh, Jakob Pertl, I'll bring you back for two years. And uh, then Bren Forbes, do you want to come back? No, he doesn't. Kind of sucks. I don't know why he does that in this game. So uh, we can get another backup center as JaVale McGee. I like to bring in Joe Harris. He's kind of old, but... He's pretty decent player. Let's bring him back for a... Oh, he doesn't want to come. Let's go to the beginning of the regular season or the next season, I guess. So hopefully we can make some trades with uh, Aldridge or and like some of our other guys like uh, Rudy Gay. I know he's been here for a while now, but his contract's too big. But he's only going to be here for another year. I mean, we theoretically could get rid of Aldridge right now. But if we can get a value player out of him rather than just having him on the team, I'd really like that. So... Gordon Hayward is available. Montrez is available. Valanciunas and Derek Favors. Clint Capella is available. Amigrant Alfred Payton. Rudy Gobert. Uh, one year would be cool, but if you wanted to come back for another year, would we have his bird rights? If that's the case, I'd literally bring him back. But no, he doesn't have any of that. 
Rashawn Holmes body healed isn't too bad. Miles Turner isn't too bad. Um, I want someone that can. Oh, this is good. Nurkic. Um, he has a team option, so we could probably bring him back. I mean, he'll probably sign back. Dwight, not bad. I think I'm gonna go with Nurkic, and yeah, and Dwight. So our backup center spot should be filled up. Let's get rid of Rudy Gay now, and I mean we have uh, Yaka Pertl there, so we don't really need Dwight. So Dwight and maybe where is he? Uh, Rudy Gay in a second. All right, let's go with the first. We have a decent amount of first on this team, so see what we can work with here. We can bring in Clint Capella, P.J. Washington. Buddy healed again. He keeps popping up. I don't know if they want me to trade for him. Ooh. Clay Thompson. For four years, if he doesn't perform, we literally can just trade him away. And, I mean, we need a power forward. Tobias could be that play. I've never had Tobias on my team. Let's go with Tobias. He's getting a lot of money here, but let's make him a power forward. His overall drops. Um... He's six eight. He should run power forward. He's fine. I don't really care that much, but you know it sucks that it happens like that. So let's put him to a small power forward spot. And our lineup isn't looking too bad for this season, at least. Yaka Pertl off the bench. P Patty Mills, Halliburton, uh, Trey Lyles, Lonnie Walker. Let's put in Luca one more time in the G League. Let's get a free agent so we can put him there. And I don't know who we can sign here. Let's go with the best overall. Javale McGee, can I sign you? I can. Let's get JaVale McGee on the team. We can make one of these guys a power forward off the bench. So, like, uh, oh, we have a Trey Lyles. How does McGee go up and overall? Let's just make McGee, like, a six-man. Or not a six-man, but, like, a fourth man or whatever. So, let's go with the roster, and then let's go down to uh, Luca and let's make him in the G League. So, there's that. Let's see what our rotation looks like. Everything looks fine. They want to start him. No, I will do that. We still have an excess amount of center, uh, power forward. That's fine. I'm going to simulate to the end of the regular season, and I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. We finished the season going 44 and 38. Actually, not bad. I think we made the playoffs, so that's good. Giannis winning MVP. I don't think any of our boards are on here, so skip through that. Anything from the Spurs here. Uh, DeJounte Murray, second defensive team. And uh, Tyrese is on the second team of you know the rookies. Uh, we made the seventh seed, which is actually great. So let's go to the player stats. DeRozan carrying us, kind of, I guess. Did he shoot well from three? Yes, he did. Actually, it might be a career high. Nurkic doing well. Tobias doing well. Jante doing well. Everyone doing pretty well for our team. Uh, we're going to the Clippers. We're probably losing this round. I'm not. I'm fine with that. So, you know, we made the playoffs like I said we would. Uh, hopefully now we can get a championship. The Grizzlies win the championship. John Morant in his second year, so that's actually great to see. Let's go to the league meetings. Let's make sure nothing is approved. And we might have a... I don't know. Actually, we might have gave it away. I'm not really sure. Um, let me look at the Spurs real quick. And we did give it away, I believe. I don't know. Yeah, it's at the 16th. That's fine. I don't really mind it. Let's make sure we have Greg back. Yes, we do. And let's go to the rookie signings. I don't think that they signed. Uh, and took it crushed again. Bro, like, they have so much money and they can't fix these problems. I'll be right back. All right, we're back at the team player option area. I'm going to sign all of these guys back except maybe even Kelvin Johnson. Uh, we'll get back Nurkic for only $13 million, so that's great to see. Um, qualifying offers will give both of these guys an offer, so just bring out players for a little bit less money. How much money we got to work with? We don't really have much to work with. Bring back Derek White. Uh, he'll come back on his restricted free agency offer. Um, where's all of our money going? Because I don't really remember making... Oh, we have uh, Tobias. So with this, I'm going to make... I'm going to trade Tobias because I feel like we can get someone better. Wendell Carter isn't too bad here. Uh, Dylan Brooks ain't too bad. Marcus Smart ain't too bad. A lot of players that aren't too... PJ Washington could be a good fit for this roster. I really like him and that position. So probably the trade I'm going to make, uh, him or Wendell Carter... We could make Wendell Carter their starting center, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. And we give up a lot of less. We make a lot more money, um, so we can probably sign someone of value here. We only have $97 million to work with. Where is our other money going into? DeMar, DeJounte, Nurkic. We don't need Yaka Pirtle now. And so we can get him away. Shake Milton we can pick up. Daniel Gafford. We don't need a center anymore since we already got our center. So this is good because we just bring up a better pick. 
I really like that. And can we... Let's get... I want Kawhi back to the Spurs. So I want to try to fit him in here somehow. Um, honestly, like, I like Nurkic. But I think we can do better. So let's get rid of Nurkic and throw in this pick. Uh, maybe... Actually, let's keep that pick. Just Nurkic himself. Can you get us some picks? I'd really like it if there's some value offered there. Um... Mitchell Robinson in bad. We get a Luka Samanic, uh, decent center. I really like that trade because we're getting rid of our money situation and we're picking up a decent center who can play the power forward spot. So I think that's a trade I'm going to do. So let's get him on the board. Let's get him on the team. Uh, we give up uh, Luka, which is fine. I, I'm i fine with that. We're getting a, a decent pick too. So now we should be able to sign Kawhi for a decent amount. Uh, yes, we can. Let's get Kawhi back to the Spurs. And we can sign him for like 70 million. I'm, hopefully he takes us. Let's give him a team option. No trade clause. And he does want to sign with us, it looks like. So let's get him on the table here. Uh, let's get him. Hopefully he will sign with us. And we do get Kawhi back on the Spurs. Yes, indeed it happened. Uh, Derek White will probably sign for... We have a restricted free agent. So we will just match whatever he gets offered. And let's just keep moving with this. Uh, yep, we'll let's match it. And we should have him on the team. So... Oh, and then let's just go to the beginning of the regular season. Let's see what our roster is working with. I think our roster is pretty decent. Uh, our center position is good. Our power forward spot is good. So uh, let's auto-generate since we're not going to go for another season. Uh, Kawhi, Mitchell Robinson, DeJounte, Wendell Carter. So what I want to do here is I want to make Wendell Carter a small forward or power forward, I mean. And then probably trade him to get a better power forward. So we'll work with that. Demar, one of these guys can run. Who goes up in overall? If I make him a uh, shooting guard, he goes down one. Demar, do you go up or down if I make you something? How tall is Demar? 6'6". Six, six. Uh, Kawhi, 6'7". So I'm going to run you at the shooting guard spot. Derek Wright. Or Demar can come off our bench. I don't want to disapprove of that. So Jonathan Murray, Derek White, Kawhi, my, uh, Wendell Carter. Namar, Halbert. Okay, so we need to work on our bench a little bit more here. So, uh, let's work with Derek White. Because I don't think I'll use him. Derek White and Wendell Carter in our first. Maybe you guys can bring us a great center or power for a spot. So, we can grab Drummond and then move him to the power, or our other guy. Laurie Markkinen. I like that. And we bring up a backup point guard. That's actually a really good trade, I think. Jaron Jackson and Markel can come off our bench. That's also a great trade. Okay, we're getting a lot of good offers here. Donovan Mitchell. Okay, okay. Bring him at the shooting our spot. Uh, we need that. Um, anyone else? Kyrie. And we can bring in Jared Allen. Move one of them. I like this trade a lot. Um, Kyrie can bring our starting point guard. We can bring in Malcolm Brogdon. Sabonis. There's a decent amount of trades here. Siakam, then Hassan Whiteside, and then we can bring in, we can trade the other guy away. This is a lot of money though, so I don't know if I want to do that trade. I really like that Kyrie trade. I've never had Kyrie on a tr uh, team. If you guys have seen my videos, you know I try to trade for him a lot. Uh, Markinen fits a power for a spot real well. Everyone bring in a backup, but that's a lot of money gone there. Hmm, this is interesting because I really I'm gonna do this trade. Kyrie, welcome to the team. I've never had you on the team, so let's work with that. Jared Allen, um, he's 6'11". How much does he go up in overall if I make him a power forward? It goes up three. Mitchell Robinson goes up a decent amount, so let's run with that. Okay, so we got Dejounte Murray. Wait, why do they want to? Okay, we want you to come off the bench. Kyrie will start. Lonnie Walker is starting right now. We need to get rid of Lonnie Walker. And then... Maybe Jared Allen to bring in a better superstar. Uh, our bench ain't looking too bad. Okay, so let's work with Lonnie Walker here. Uh, where are you at, Lonnie Walker? Lonnie Walker. John take a come off our bench pretty well. And Jared Allen in a first. Um, looking for a better center. Clint Capella, Alfred Payton. The best center I think I'm going to get there. Nurkic, I'm not the best. We can bring in Sabonis. Um, he can play center. We can bring in Ennis Cantor for a bench. Not a terrible offer right there. Hassan Whiteside. Hassan Whiteside. Either Hassan Whiteside or Clint Capella. 
Clint Capella is making it less. Can play the same role at least. And we're bringing Alpha Pay in. I'm going to do this trade. We'll give up our huge pick, but that's fine. Now that we got Alfred Payton, I need to trade him. Yep, Alfred Payton and Keldon Johnson and a first. Our picks are going really well here. They're doing a great job. Uh, Rashawn Holmes, Bogdanovich. Robert Covington ain't bad. He can start in our starting lineup if you would like to. And I'm fine with that because we need a power forward that can run the... Or Eric Paschko. But I like this trade. We're just basically trading players and the pick. So, so see what our roster is looking like right now. Because I don't have any idea. Why do they keep starting? We want Kyrie starting. Halburn. Okay. I don't mind him starting. Because we got a decent starting lineup. DeJounte Murray. Derrick Rose. Covington starting. I mean bench. So that's fine. Let's make it a 9 man rotation. We can make it 10 either way. Uh, Metu is getting decent minutes. Um, Roko is getting decent minutes. So maybe now we just go for a better. Okay, so we have a shooting guard on the starting lineup. Okay, what would Mitchell Robinson bring in for the table if we paired him with Roko? And a first. So we can bring in. I just want to see if there's anyone of valuableness on the table. And I don't. See anything like that. Let's go Mitchell Robinson and a first and another first. Maybe there we can bring in someone. But they're going to give us a bunch of young players because, you know, they're all on rookie contracts. So I'm not going to mess with that. The only thing I need is a better shooting guard, I believe. And I would like to kick, keep Tyrese. So maybe Rocco and uh, Michael Kidd Gilchrist in a first. Mm, maybe a shoot. Ooh, Marcus Smart. Colin Sexton. Larry Nance for the bench. I'd rather have that than what I have right now. Luca is not bad. Um, Maxi Kleba. Karis Levert ain't bad either. A lot of good trade offers here, but I think I'm going to go with uh, the Colin Sexton, Larry Nance one. I think it's decently for the good starting lineup. John T. Murray, I want you coming off the bench. Kyrie, you start. Uh, and our bench isn't looking too bad. Let's make it a 10 man rotation once again. And the only place I want to work on is our center spot. So, is there anyone I can sign in the center position? Uh, Jordan, Mason Plumley, I'll bring you. And then I'll try to trade you with Medtu. So, you can bring in a little bit more of valuableness. Uh, Matt, they're both two stars. Uh, do you, just do you, Daniel Gafford ain't bad here. I like that a lot. So, he can just pick up the boards, you know do what it is they need to do for the team and we're bringing hutchinson so look at our roster once more we have an excess amount of center of a small forward you're not going to get any minutes though so i'm going to give it to gafford um yeah that should be fine i think our rotation ain't too bad uh if something goes wrong i might they keep starting Kyrie over here i might trade Kyrie, but we have a lot of scoring a decent amount of defense but we'll see i don't know how this is going to work out Mitchell Robinson can play post defense. Clint Capella, Kyrie, if you can play a little bit. What is okay? One more trade attempt for Kyrie, a first rounder and another first rounder. Just see what they're gonna give us. Um, like another superstar player, like De'Aaron Fox, ain't bad. Younger player, he's on a three year. He's does he score a lot though? His defense ain't bad either. I don't really need him to score a lot, lot. You know what I'm saying? Because we got Kawhi. Oh, Jamal Murray. Interesting. Interesting. Russell Westbrook wouldn't be too bad for this team. And he can defend a little bit. Yeah. I don't want him to score a lot either. This is only a one year. I don't need scoring. I just got to remember it. I don't need scoring. If we want scoring and we want a decent player, we'll go with Kemba right here, right now. But it's only a one year, 30. Okay. De'Aaron Fox... Or do we go for Russell Westbrook? I haven't had him on a team before. I think he will fit this team real well. And let's... No. I want him to start. I want him to come off the bench. Colin Stexton, you can start. And I think it's working out. I don't want you to start. You get minutes. And I think that's good. I think our team is pretty decent. I'm going to simulate to the end of the regular season. Hopefully, we can win a championship. And our, and our system fits real well. 
defensively. Colin Sexton's not there, but it's going to work out well. So I'm going to simulate to the end of the regular season, and hopefully we can get a championship. All right, guys, we're here at the end of the regular season. The team finished 68-14. and 14. What a fantastic season by them. Giannis winning MVP, Rookie of the Year, Kate Cunningham, Bo Bo, Sixman, Defensive Player, Anthony Davis, Theo, Most Improved, Coach of the Year, Greg Popovich, back on top where he needs to be. Great to see. Uh, do we have any of our players here? We got Kawhi on the third team. Uh, that's great to see. Uh, Kawhi on the second defensive team. And then anyone else? I don't think so. So we did make the first seed with this record. I hope so. Uh, 18 games above the Mavericks. Wow. 15 games above the 76ers. We absolutely crushed it this year. Kawhi leading the team with a 50, 30, 90. Uh, Colin Sexton, Russell Westbrook. DeMar, Clint Capella, DeJounte, Mitchell Robinson, Halbert, uh, Larry Nance. Everyone played fantastic, and I'm glad this team worked out the way I thought it would. Now we're going to the Lakers, who have Anthony Davis and LeBron. And they got Derrick Rose, finally, and Bogdanovich. Could be a team that could upset us, but with a roster like this, I don't think they will. So we sweep them pretty easily. Now we're going to the Grizzlies, who won the championship the last year, so... Got the same lineup, basically. So, hopefully, we can win this pretty convincingly. I don't see if they can they take one game off of us. That's fine. Now, we're going to Luka Doncic and Kristaps. Uh, this one might be pretty difficult. We'll take this game by game. They beat us by 20 the first game. Maybe it was just a fluke game. We come back strong. 20 games, we beat them. I'm, I'd like to see that. Simulate game. Now, they took this one. I can't go down 2-1. 3-1. I really can't. 2-2. Two -two. Let's go. Clutch out, boys. Right here, right now. And we go down 3-2. I'm going to shorten the rotation. I, I this is If this team does not win here, I'm going to be really disappointed. Let's make it a nine-man rotation. Russell Westbrook wants to start. Um, Colin Sexton being our sixth man. Not opposed to that. If that's what they want to do, I'm fine with that. Let's go with SimCast. Simulate game. Where it's back and forth. We're down here. No. Come on. Pull through. Pull through. And, oh, it's a close game. We can pull back right here, right now. We pull back in the last three minutes. We're going up strong. Five, six, four-point, five-point game, three-point game. And we pull through by a seven. That was a close one. That really was. Let's get all of our good players playing time right here. Shorten the rotation to eight. I don't want to lose right here, so that would suck, really, actually. Simulate game. Come up. Come on, guys. We're just going back and forth. Three minutes, we're tied right now. Come on. And I think we're going to go out right here. And we lose by one point in the game seven. Uh, that is absolutely heartbreaking with a team like this. Who didn't play well? Mitchell Robinson. You know, Colin Sexton, Russell Westbrook. Uh, disappointing season by far after going. It's like the the Warriors going like 73-9 and nine and then losing in the finals. But this, we didn't lose in the finals. So let's see who wins this, and the Mavericks do win it in seven. Luka Doncic winning MVP. You know, obviously this team should have won the championship. It was probably the best team I've built so far in 2K, but it didn't happen. Greg Popovich, Popovich isn't going to get another ring with me, at least. So that happened. I'm going to hopefully, I'm going to try this again, maybe. That's what I'm trying to say, and get them a ring in the future. But right now, this is how I'm going to leave it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Leave some comments down below what you guys want to see next. And also, um, subscribe if you're new. So I'll see you guys later, and peace.